On a brisk winter day in Washington, America's first black president took the oath of office for his second term. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. Vice President Joe Biden took I his Joseph oath too. I, Joseph R. Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. Placing his hand on a five inch thick Bible that's been in his family since 1893. President Obama placed his hand on a Bible used by President Abraham Lincoln. He also used the well worn travel Bible of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., two men whose work helped pave his path to the presidency. If people listening to the president's inaugural speech closed their eyes, they may have thought they were listening to the late preacher. While freedom is a gift from God, it must be secured by his people here on earth. On Martin Luther King Day, the president paid respect to America's civil rights leaders. Now he says it's this generation's task to complete the journey they began. Our journey is not complete until our gay brothers and sisters are treated like anyone else under the law. For if we are truly created equal, then surely the love we commit to one another must be equal as well. Gay marriage, equal pay for women and immigration reform, climate change, voting laws, and a strong social safety net. The president used his inaugural address to lay out his values, his dreams for the next four years. Some were affirmed in the closing prayer. We will see that we are created in your image, whether brown, black, or white, male or female, first-generation immigrant American, or daughter of the American Revolution, gay or straight, rich or poor. Grammy award-winning singer Beyonce closed the ceremony. It's the president's last time on this platform as acting commander-in-chief, and he seemed eager to take it all in. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News, Washington.